Today I'm going to show you how to make Spätzle. Many of you probably wanted to make Spätzle before, but you always lack the proper implements. You either don't have a Spätzle Hobel, or you don't have a Spätzle board. Stick around and I'll show you a method to make Spätzle without any of these implements. We'll start by making a simple Spätzle dough. Spätzle dough is flour, salt, eggs, and a little bit of liquid, which is usually water. I've got about four tablespoons of all-purpose flour here. I'm going to add a pinch of salt, make it two, and I'm going to add my eggs. Now all I do is take a hand mixer and mix this together. This consistency is way too firm, so we need a little bit of water. This is about the right consistency. See how it drips off? This is the consistency you want. We're going to let this sit for a few minutes so it fully hydrates. Maybe we need to add a little bit more water later if the flour sucked up too much water. But that is already the dough, two minutes flat. I've got some salted water that's barely at a boil, so it's just simmering. I promised to show you how to make Spätzle without something like a Spätzle Hobel. Although you can get these things on Amazon these days, they're only like 25 bucks. You really need a unitasker in your house for the two or three times a year you actually want to make Spätzle. So here's the trick. Go to Dollar Tree and buy yourself a grill topper. You usually use this on the grill if you do vegetables or something so they don't fall through. So you put this on top here, on top of that water, and all you need is a spatula and you're good to go. You can even rinse this thing and reuse it. Work in batches, do not overcrowd that pot because you need all the surface area. This is like a dumpling, it will swim up and once it swims up, it's cooked. So from this small batch, let's do two batches. And all you do is squeeze it through the holes. There's batch number one. The water should have been a little bit more moving than this. This is still okay, but a little more movement would be better. Let them come up to a boil once and then, then get the heat down again and pull them out with a spider. Put them in a bowl. And do your second batch. Of course, you will have more batches if you make more dough. And again, just squeeze that through. Now rinse that thing off with cold water or lukewarm water and you can reuse it. Otherwise, just toss it. And there you have them. For a buck 25 without a specific implement. And one of these days I'm going to show you how to make Kässpätzle which is the southern German version of mac and cheese, using these things. But that's for another day. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.